Hey, quick disclaimer, if you are new to the channel, this is not Boundary Break. Boundary Break is a once a week type show, so if you stick around, I promise there'll be another episode. But Real Talk is basically just a video diary of me going through my experience as a quote unquote YouTuber. So if you're interested in that, you can listen to it right now. So the first thing I want to get out of the way, money. Uh, money is a very difficult subject to talk about when it comes to YouTube. And I say this as a person who finds it difficult to listen to someone talk about money on YouTube. If you've gotten to know me and watched my channel and watched all my videos, you know that I'm not a career YouTuber. My intention here is not to live off of Patreon or ad revenue or sponsors. I just like to put out the videos and hear your positive feedback. But I do have ads on my video because one, I just wanted to see how much money someone makes off of YouTube. And if there is money to be had on YouTube, I would use that money to support my hobby, which is making the videos for you folks. And YouTube also asked, do you want to put on a donation button? And well, why wouldn't you? I, I figured I'd say, yes, go ahead, put on a donation button and just never advertise it. Never talk about it, except I'm talking about it right now. <laughs> uh, real quick, real, real quick. This is not an advertisement. In fact, I'm asking you right now, please do not donate to this channel after watching this video because I won't feel right about it. In fact, I want to make it abundantly clear right now. I have an office job that supports me and that all the money that I'm making off of YouTube, I do not need to get by. So I hope that's the biggest anti-endorsement I can give to avoid making this seem like I'm making some sort of plot to get your money. Now, do you see why it's difficult to talk about it? <laughs> What's way more valuable to me is your trust. And so to say the word money, well, I don't know about you, but to me, that's a red flag. I don't, I suddenly don't feel like you're treating me like a fan or a friend or a person, but rather a commodity. And yuck, yuck, I don't want that. I want to, I want to stay as far away from that as possible. <laughs> but why are we talking about money today? Well, the, I, I can't not talk about this. Uh, for the very first time, someone on their own accord wanted to donate to me. And this viewer was Sword Matt Online. Now this is a very passionate fan. This person made a banner for me. They made an opening video for me. And that was incredible enough for me to say, you know, this is this is a very nice gesture. This is a very nice thing you're doing for me. I'm, I'm not used to anybody trying to help me out like this. This is very nice. And it was at that point that he asked if I had any place to donate. And I did, and I, I let him know. The guy donated $40 to me. What kind of feeling do you have when you get a donation like that for the first time? Well, if you're gonna ask me, a person who does not need money, it's, it's, uh, it's a shocking feeling. It's shocking because you don't expect anybody to care about what you're doing at that level. It also made me feel a little undeserving. Like, like, because I, I don't even pay that much money to see a high budget theatrical film in a theater. At Lux level, <laughs> you know? But he assured me he wanted me to have this. And so where do you go from there? Well, if he likes the show so much that he's willing to give $40, then that $40 is going exclusively into the show. I'm not gonna buy Doritos. I'm not gonna pay my bills with it. There's things I can buy to make the show better. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I told him the two things I'm probably gonna buy with $40 is more insulation so that there's less of an echo effect when I uh, record the live action segments and a pop filter for the microphone so that the peas don't shoot air into the microphone. It has that nasty sound like, like for the Pikmin episode. Every time I said Pikmin, you hear a pop because the pea sound, pretty Pikmin, make the pony princess very pleased. See, it sounds nasty, so pop filter's gonna fix that. <laughs> so Sword Mad Online, thank you very, very, very much. You've humbled me, man. I don't value myself at $40, so <laughs> thank you. So one other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is I'm super duper duper excited about one other thing. So there's this pixel artist that's been watching the show for a while, and he private messaged me and said, you know, hey, guess what? You know, I'm an artist, and uh, I've decided, you know, if you ever want my help, I'll, I'll do something for you. Here's my here's my portfolio. And his portfolio, I, I mean, I, I just wasn't expecting it, man. His portfolio was amazing. And uh, I saw that he does pixel art. And I've always, always wanted an animated pixel intro. I love old school video games, man. It's my favorite. And so he's already started working on it. And if you've noticed, you can already see the She Says icon with the shirt and the hat. Or you may have noticed in this episode of Real Talk, the image of the She Says logo 
is a lot sharper. Well, that's because he redid it. And I could use the, the one with the hat and stuff like that, but I kind of want to keep this consistent. So, old school She Says logo will forever stay in Real Talk, and we'll use this sharpened image to represent that. But even cooler than that, man, some of you have seen the video accidentally leak. I accidentally made it public. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, but I, I made a model for what I would like the animation to look like. And so he's working to get the microphone to spin, and then he catches the microphone, and then he dips the glasses and gives you a wink. I think it'll look really, really cool, and he's working on it, and I am, I, I'm, I love the show, I'm so excited to do episodes, but this right now is like waiting for Christmas, man. Uh, hey, hey, M Toasty, if you're listening right now, that $40 donation pushed me, pu finally pushed me $100 over the uh, YouTube ad revenue. So I can finally, after some amount of time, access that money from my Google AdSense account. And that means I got $100 from just doing the show for the past two months. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to talk about. But anyway, real quick, just want to say, man, that I know you're going to do a good job. And if you want me to pay you, I'm more than willing to pay. In fact, I insist that I pay you. You do, your talent will not go unpaid, sir. You just name a price, I'll pay it. But that was another thing I wanted to talk about real quick. On the subject of money, because I never want to really talk about this again, unless you guys want to know more about it, but did you ever wonder how much money a YouTuber makes off of just ad revenue? You'd be surprised, man. I'm so glad that I did not make this my career choice, because you do not make that much money. I, I've been doing this for two months. I have some videos that have 30,000 views, some that are close to 20,000 views, and that's a couple of videos, and then none of them have ever been under a thousand. 14 episodes in and I've only made about $60 in ad revenue. Now that doesn't sound like a lot. To, again, to give you some perspective, I work on these videos about as much as a part-time job. So I'd say, I'd say maybe like 20 hours out of my week goes into boundary break. So 20 hours a week, I've been doing this for two months and the amount of money I've made is $60. If you ever come across somebody who feels like they need to criticize me or another YouTuber for trying to get your views just so that they can make a dollar off of ad revenue, trust me man, it's not fast cash. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can do some scummier stuff to get some money out of people, but that's not what we're going to do here. Never. So honestly, I am 100% nervous about putting this episode out, but if I don't tell you guys this aspect of the show and how what I'm going through, I feel like I'm leaving out a chapter. That in itself feels dishonest. It feels like it's missing the point of this whole series, and that is to be 100% real with you folks. If I only share the good stuff or the stuff that makes you feel bad for me, then I'm not really being real with you. So I really hope that you guys saw the intention with everything that I talked about today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, and one last thing. Uh, I got a new piece of fan art. It's from Drybones343, and it's of the She Says mascot. It's very cool, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So my final thoughts. From the start, I've always wanted to make this show community-driven, and I, I think it's starting to transform this channel into something that I really like. Too often, content creators make their channels about themselves, and they try to paint the very best picture of themselves, and there's a disconnect between themselves and the community. I decided to take a different route, I decided to include everyone and help make their decisions have an impact and whatever sort of contributions they wanted to provide, like whether with art or, or whatever, that I would try to use it or, or share it with the rest of the community. Now I didn't know exactly what would happen if I did this, but I was hoping it would push the channel in a positive direction, and I'm starting to see that. I think it actually is coming out exactly how I hoped it would turn out. So thank you guys, and if you ever want to help me in some way, never feel discouraged. Just uh, message me on Yahoo, she says at yahoo.com, or you want to submit fan art or whatever, or you want to share the videos and let me know. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. I, so far, I've appreciated it wholeheartedly. I love it. And I just hope we keep working together again in the future. But all right, guys, I'm going to take off. Have yourselves a great week, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, guys, take care. <laughs> Bye.